Welcome back, Hivemind. This is Shalazar with Hivemind Gaming, coming at you with another tabletop simulator board games with the Hive series. So basically, this is Adventure 3 in the Legend of Dritz board game with the Dungeons and Dragons Adventure Game series. So what you want to do if you haven't seen Adventure 1 or Adventure 2, the links are in the description. Go and watch those first, and that will explain a lot of what we're doing right now. So um, other than that, our intrepid adventurers are heading to the third adventure in this module or in this adventure book. So we're going to go ahead and get into it with the hive. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here we are back again with adventure number three. I'm Shalazar with Hivemind Gaming, and these are some of my friends that I have invited to come play with us. Uh, you guys want to introduce yourselves? Uh, I'll be playing Thorgrim. I am Kat. Uh, I will be playing Kat, the human rogue. And I continue to be Aryan, uh, who plays Arjun, the dragonborn fighter. And I'll be playing Alyssa, who is the human ranger. All right. Uh, so what happened in our previous adventure? Anyone want to give us a quick recap? And they all got killed. <laughs> uh, I did die. To uh, a din A A what? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, he, yeah, he was a bit of a jerk. He was. He was definitely a jerk. But I was luckily resurrected uh, right at, in the nick of time to be able to, to help kill uh, uh, Artemis. But story-wise, uh, we were looking for the entrance to Mithril Hall. Mithril Hall, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. So, and then when we finished, we hadn't done our end of uh, our end of town or our town event. So basically, what we're doing, we're using the rules from the later versions of the board game, which allows us at the end of the end of the uh, adventure to go to town and level up, sell items, things like that. So each item has a gold value on it. And I think everyone chose to keep their gold or their items except for Arjun. So Arjun uh, sold his. That's why he has the 300 gold over here. But uh, Kat and Alyssa chose to keep their handy dandy items uh, for themselves. So they will continue to have those going into this adventure. Now, um, once we actually have a thousand gold coins, we can level up to level two. And then once we get once we uh, get to level two, we can go to level three and then four as well. And we can also buy permanent bonuses as well. And for each bonus that we purchase, anytime someone wants to buy the exact same bonus, then it costs a little extra gold. So like, for instance, if one of the bonuses is 500 gold, if someone wants to buy that same exact bonus, they'll have to pay 600. So it's always a hundred more gold. So that's basically how it works. The first town event was pretty simple because we didn't really have anything else to do other than sell our stuff. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move on into adventure number three, which is the hunt for shimmer gloom, which is our, which is a dragon. Uh, the only thing stopping the reclamation of clan better battle hammer Battle Hammer's ancestral home is the shadow dragon named Shimmer Gloom. So at the start, we read the following. An entire army of dwarves fell when the shadow dragon Shimmer Gloom first came to Mithril Hall. In the years since, the dragon has slept. But this slumber has now ended. If you die in Mithril Hall, its location will be lost forever. Your only chance is to make your way to Gorum's Gorge and escape. All right, so I went ahead and set up the battlefield. Uh, we've got everything set up. We got 
our cards chosen and we chose the location on the start tile to go, we're going to choose our brave dragonborn fighter to go first. Arjun, take it away. Arjun moves forward. All right, so we just got a basic tile with a white arrow. So that means uh, we draw a monster card. So go ahead and draw the top card of the monster deck. Hey, Dinan. Yeah, because we were just talking about what a jerk that guy was. Did we, did we shuffle that deck? Yes, yes, I did. <sighs> Uh, I believe I can move forward, and do I have enough action economy to make an attack? No, so uh, re <laughs> it's been a week, so I understand. But uh, our first our first turns typically end with just you do nothing for your actions, and then we go directly into the uh, uh, exploration phase, which is what draws the tile and summons the monster, and then goes into the villain phase, which uh, allows him to do his evil, evil stuffs. Ah, yes. If Dinan is within two tiles of a hero, which he totally is, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks that hero with a sword after the attack, pass this card to the player on your right. So, he's very much in range. And, uh, yeah, he's going to hit me because I'm the closest person. I would judge by that. That's fair. Uh, plus eight to attack. So your AT AC seventeen. He rolled. Oh, Sorry, you're just, it's, is it you're the R button? R yeah, button. R button. He totally hits. Yeah, he hits. I take two damage. I really missed him. Uh huh. And now I pass this card. I bequeath it to Thorgrim. He, I'm sure he appreciates it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It is my inheritance, or your inheritance from me. Okay. Well, on my turn, I'm gonna move here. Uh, I don't want to explore anything yet. Uh, I'm going to attack him with Healing Strike. Oops. Thorgrim rolled his uh, character sheet. Yeah, in, in Tabletop Simulator, be sure not to roll dice on other cards. <laughs> right. It usually doesn't work out well. Uh... I got a plus eight. I think that's a uh, 17. I think that's enough to hit him. All right. He'll take one damage. Yep. Nice. And uh, Arian, I'll heal you one. Or Thorgrim, I will heal you one. I appreciate it. Uh, and then... Ah, this is even my final form. <laughs> That's my hero phase. I have, don't want to use any of my other cards. So now it's exploration phase. I did not explore, so I will pull an encounter card. Yep. Cave Fisher's Lair. Draw a tile from the bottom of the dungeon tile stack and place it next to an unexplored edge that your character is closest to. Uh, place a new monster on that tile and place your hero on that tile. Your hero is immobilized. You do not draw an encounter card for placing the new tile. Yeah, yeah, fun times. 
so much for not exploring. I mean, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Forced ex exploration. Yeah. Uh, fire troll or feral troll. I was about to poop my britches for a for a fire troll. Uh, let's see. Oh, I swear to God, four hit points. Um, if the feral troll is within one tile of a hero, uh, he moves close to that hero and attacks with his nasty claws. After he attacks, pass this card to the player on your right. Why would you do this to us? This is Why? worse than the Dinan. Uh, yeah, well, we also have Dinan, so. Discard this card. Yeah, Dritz needs to get his family in order, man. I'm just saying, his uh, his home life, he needs to get his shit together. That's all I'm saying. All right, well, Dinan is going to attack Thorgrim again. So who read the books? Who's this Dinan guy? He's a he's a Dwarden, so... Uh... Uh, I've read the books, but it's uh, been a long time. They're a person that uh, fell out of favor with the, uh, the uh, uh, matron mother and got turned into a drider from, from disgrace. Well, he's got he's got Dritz's surname, so I assume that it's probably his brother or father or cousin or cousin. something. Yeah. The whole family is uh, yeah, Dewarden is a family line. I uh, didn't attack Argent, right? Yeah. Uh, Again? Yeah. Yep. Well, Argent. Yep. Sort of Christ. So, plus eight. <laughs> Loth compels you. Loth compels you. Uh, so only a 12. He misses. Nice. However, the feral troll will attack Thorgrim. Who is immobilized. Is that all you got? Uh, 13 still will not hit me, though. But I will take... Oh, I will not take any damage. Nice. Okay. Nice. Nice. End of my next hero phase, I will not be able to do it. Alright, that is the end of my entire turn. And then I take the cards because they're pat both of them are passed to the right. Yeah. I'll help you. <laughs> the troll would be or the uh Drider would be first, and then the troll. Okay, I I am clearly going to attack. Um, um, I am going to use snipe shot to attack uh, the um, to attack Din Dinan, and uh, I get a plus two bonus to the attack because the monster is one tile away from me. Plus, plus your magic items. Yes, plus my magic items. Which reroll the die if, if I screw up with my roll. And I get a plus two attack bonus to monsters that are not on my tile. So I get plus four attack yes. to this roll. 19. And that will hit all day long. Yeah. Um, so that is one damage. at two now. Okay. No, I, I think she was uh, shooting Dinjin. Dinin. Dinjin. The Drider. And then I need to pick an encounter card because I did not move. They are. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Oh. Attack each hero on your hero's tile. Um, they will be poisons. Well, plus eleven to attack each of your, each of you. Oh. So yeah, uh, I'll go Argen first. That I don't think that. Yeah. That was a flip, not a roll. Sorry. I will take it. Nice. 
<laughs> Remember, we have a plus one AC because of Arjun. It's true. He's cheating somehow. Well, <laughs> okay, uh, Thor, or not Thorgrim, uh, Alyssa, I will attack. Nice! Oh. And I attack myself. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so I am poisoned. All right, you are poisoned. But that is it for that. Now the big nasties get to do stuff. Yep, so uh, we'll do Din, Din, Din in first, who is going to again attack Arjun. Two. Oh yes. my. <laughs> You're really getting away with a lot today. And then the Feral Troll, which is going to... If the Feral Troll is within one tile of a hero, it moves Jason to the hero and the text with Nasty Claw. Okay, so it's going to, again, attack Thorgrim. Uh, 12 plus 8. So 20, that'll definitely hit. Yeah, it hits, unfortunately. 3 damage and then moves me 2 tiles I believe <laughs> he's just got punched in the last week so I just like to imagine like here I am dodging you know weaving around Dinan like a boss and then suddenly in the background just Thorgrim just flies through the screen and they have been moved um, and that is the end of my turn well guys I will be exploring this turn whether I want to or not <laughs> <laughs> yeah alright so I am going to go hmm I think I'm going to go there unfortunately I can't explore anything so I guess I'll just uh Go ahead and use my careful attack, which is one adjacent monster takes one damage. Oh. So that will kill off uh, our Drider. Are you going to keep, you want to keep up with the XP? Yeah. All right, your hero regains one hit point, then flip one of your ready cards. That is not what I wanted. Yeah, really. Why is that always the first card or one of the first cards we pull? Does not seem to come out in the later in the game. All right, so with that being said, we move on to my uh, enemy phase, our villain phase, which the troll will act first, then we draw an encounter. So the feral troll is within one tile of a hero. So it moves adjacent to the closest hero and then attacks that hero um, with a nasty claw. So it will move there. That way it's beside both of us. Uh, I will go ahead and take the attack since both of us can be attacked by it. Forget your your plus one AC from Thorgrim. Yeah, uh, 18 will still hit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use Unbalancing Parry, which uh, I can use this a, uh, a power whenever an adjacent monster hits me. Uh, the attack misses instead. Place that monster on a tile within one tile of you. Um, hmm. Go ahead, place him in front of me. I was going to go at him anyway. All right, there you go. You can have him. That way you don't have to move. Yeah, exactly. All right, and that ability is used, but I don't take damage. Well, 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 look who it is. All right. Then... Another lamb for the slaughter. <laughs> All right. 
Volcanic Explosion. Each hero on a volcanic vent takes two damage. Woo! Uh, there are no volcanic vents out right now, so we're good to go. So I'm a red dragonborn, so technically she don't have resistance to fire. Uh, I mean, tech, no. No, you shouldn't. I mean, you're not a real dragon. I don't care what your parents tell you. Mm -hmm. Next, you're going to say kobolds aren't dragons. All right. No, hell no. I wouldn't say that. F those things stab you. I uh, know. <laughs> that was a good joke, Shalzar. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm a fucking comedian uh, when the camera's not running. Uh, mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, round two. Arjun, what you gonna do about that troll that your good old friend, the ranger, uh, slapped right in front of you? You know, I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and slap it right back. Hey, whoa, 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 that's not how we discuss. No, 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 we've got, we've got jobs to do. Yours is to stand on the front line. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, it's right in front of me. It counts. It's front line. Oh, okay, okay. Long as you're not going to send it back my way, I'm I, I, I'm good with that. Well, I mean, I we can smack it back in the face. Oh, I see, I see. So, talking shit before you even roll any dice. I see. Okay, let's go. Let's <sighs> see what you got. For? Wait, you're, you're, you're just jealous you didn't think of it. It's true. Shut up, Fulgrim. You're supposed to be wise, not smart. I think in this case, I'm just going to do a at will power here, which it doesn't really matter because it, yeah, the trap is strike on this guy. Whoops. Oh, no. <laughs> rolled right off that 19. Wait, wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. Hold on. That's a four with my plus eight. That is 12. That is all it takes. Wow, look at that. Nice. So he takes one point of damage, and, and that's really all I can do. I'm going to stay in front of him. Yeah, that's fair. So what does he do to you now? I mean, oh. that is yet to be determined. Or no, actually, doesn't the encounter cart or correct me if I'm wrong, would the encounter pull, card pull happen during the exploration phase, then? Uh, yeah, I, actually, I think you're correct. Uh, I think I made the mistake during my turn. That mistake during my turn. I think you're right. So, so we pulled the encounter before the, the attack? Yeah, normal? so yeah, I, think, I think it's because you go to exploration, and if there's no actual uh, card or uh, tile pulled for exploration then it automatically uh no 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 it is it is uh actually uh in the villain phase that it happened that the encounter happens in uh we can look at our our play thing here it should tell us on our card here if you didn't place a tile during uh, so it is the, the first step of the villain phase, but it is during the villain phase. So you do draw a card first, though. Okay. Well, so it good, is villain phase call, now, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yep. Here, sacrifice. You can choose to keep a section of the roof. If you do, each hero and each monster on your hero's tile take two damage. If you don't, your hero takes one damage. So I can choose to cave. I can choose to cave it in. And it hits everybody in the tile for three damage, or if I don't, I take one damage myself. Yeah. It says you. I mean, it would it kill says it. You can choose to cave in a section of roof. Oh, yeah, it does say on your hero's tile, so yeah. But I mean, it's not on your tile, so. Oh, that's true, that's true. Uh, yeah, I'll just take the point myself. I don't know, a pebble falls on a, a, I don't know, a rock falls on the roof and hits me in the head or something. Lag tight. Yeah. <laughs> not not quite that severe. Uh, then after that, next part of hero phase is uh, big boy here is going to hit me. Or try to, anyway. Try to. Uh, 
Oh, oh 13 that to do hits. It. Ooh, that's three damage. Do I get punched into the wall? Since I can't Hold really up. be. Oh, you're not on my tile. Never mind. Yeah, so you would uh, you could choose either uh, the tile all by yourself or the tile over here by the healer. <clears throat> by so the healer. <laughs> how does this work? Does he like ricochet me off a wall then? Like, dunk, dunk. yeah, yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, you are a hockey puck right now. <sighs> nice hefty three points of damage too. Oh, I'm just gonna look at Thorgrim and say, "Healer, heal me." I think you gotta go next to the adjacent to the monster spawn, right? Oh, do I? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, so I'm just gonna look at Thorgrim and say, like, uh, you know, med pack, heal me, and and that's it. All right. Uh, passing the card over to you. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about to get the same uh, treatment, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, um, my turn. Uh, I cannot move. Uh, I could have... Yeah, I, I don't think I can see him to attack him. Nope. So I can't do that. So I will heal Aryan for one point. Thing. Or Thor or uh, Arjun. Uh, and then I will explore a tile because I'm immobilized and can't move. Yeah, you get to choose which uh, side you want it to come on. Alright, we get an event and a monster. Yay! Because why not? Spider Swarms! Cat's favorite. I'm excited. Is Arjun next to it? He is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> it's a new monster. On your hero's tile, then place your hero on any square of the start tile. <laughs> <laughs> well, Arjun. I mean, he's leaving you a present behind, at least. Uh, don't worry, I got, I got this. Water elemental. Yeah, yeah, sounds like it. Why do you exist? Rawr. Ooh, I've got three monsters to play with. I mean, I'm excited. How are you? Uh, no. No. <laughs> I'm not. Um, I'm, about, I'm about to get... I'm about to feel, feel pain. Tastes like yeah. burning! You have no idea. Troll comes in. Uh, he would stay right where he's at. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's adjacent to me. Uh, then he's going to attack. We don't get... Uh, Arjun's armor class bonus. Nope. One. I will, one. I, that is not a one. I will bodyguard him. Can you? Yep. All away. Yep. Uh, so I have to go two away, which puts me. Yeah, I'm switching places with you, homie. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I've also got a thing, too. Oh, go on. Uh, I was going to do uh, Shield of Faith. Okay, what does that do? Uh, the attack misses, and everyone on our tile gains plus two AC until the end of my turn. Nice! I love it. We're going to do that. And uh, so we all get plus two AC until the end of my next hero phase. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Nice. Enjoy your plus AC bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I did not get. You know, All Arjun, right. um, if you weren't slacking on the job again, you would be giving us another. We would have three AC plus the AC. Oops. That's that one. Arjun's tearing right. shit up. He's going to move to Arjun. 
I really don't want him to move to me. Well, he I would. Don't. He would be next to. Is it the to the closest? You know, I'll take on dragons, trolls, elementals, but spiders? No, sir. Maybe there. Yeah, he'd uh, just be closest to the taunt spawn. Plus seven, so uh, eighteen. Uh, that's become poisoned. Why would you do this to me? It's Cat's fault. You deserve all of this. Uh, the water elemental. Because Cat likes the cre creepy crawlies, and she finds it funny <laughs> that they're crawling through your armor right now. And I rolled a one, so there you go. Nice. I only got a nine. So at least the water elemental didn't hit you. I mean, that is a plus. All right, that's all the critters. Uh, that's all the events. So that is my turn over. So quick question. So this says poison. Uh, discard this marker at the end of your hero phase if you roll plus 10. So that means at the end of my hero phase, I just do a roll? Or does it cause some sort of action economy? No, nope. you just do a roll. Yep. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. Hey, cat. At the beginning of your oh. action phase, you take a point of damage from your poison. Um, I am not going to move. I am going to attack the troll. Um, however, I'm going to use sneak attack, which will give me plus one damage and plus four bonus attack rolls. Um, and then snipe shot is going to be the attack I'll be doing. So if I hit, um, it should be plus two damage, which hopefully then we can get him down with the, like a plus one later. Um, I get plus two bonus with my cat's eye headbands, plus another two um, from Thorgrim. So I'll have plus eight attack. I know you guys can't see me, but I've I didn't been, give you a plus two to hit. I was shaking my head the whole time. Oh no, she gets plus four to hit, uh, just from her gear and she her ability. Me, oh yeah, no, the plus plus, plus, plus two was I'm the AC the bonus. I'm making you harder to hit. Okay, I'm gonna roll. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that Blow that reroll. Blow that reroll. Yeah, I'm doing the reroll. That will hit. Yeah, that hits. So plus two damage onto the troll. So he only needs one more to die. I got that. No worries. All right. Uh, do you wish to move anywhere? Oh, yeah, I can move after that. Yep. Uh, yes, I will move. Don't come in here. This is my I house. Move I got this handled. And I will explore in front of me. Oh. Oh, look. Yes. I really hope more uh, spiders are here. Volcanic spray. I will take those volcanic sprays all day. Each hero within a volcanic tile. We don't have any, so we're good there. That's perfect. And then we have a little goblin dude. The goblin, goblin cutter. cutter. Is, if the goblin cutter is within one tile of a hero, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks the hero with a crude dagger. So it will move to me and attack. 14, so he hits. Yeah. So you'll take one point of damage. Don't forget the All right. Yeah. And then I am going to roll. I need a plus 10 to get my poison up. Oh, you got one more thing. Oh. I'm going to do the troll. Yeah, the poison actually should have happened uh, before you explored, but um, that doesn't matter. It's fine. Okay. No, so, exploration step for 
before uh, no. control attack. No, the hero phase. Her hero phase. Yeah, I forgot to do it in my hero phase. I moved. Um, but I can do it after the troll. So the troll is going to attack Arjun again. No, it no, it's me. not. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I agree. Alyssa. I am so sorry. I agree. Attack, attack Arjun. <laughs> I think everything is just attack Arjun. It's, it's a default. Do your I'm job, on. Arjun. Oh, <laughs> there's no escaping so that. Oh, uh, eh. mm. eh. three damage, and you move. Uh, to move the hero two tiles away. So I have to move two tiles since they're now two tiles away. Uh, let's see. On the monster spawn. Let's let's yeah yeah it would be the monster spawn. Yeah, we'll move to that one. Since there's a little feller. The problem with that is now I can't kill that thing. <laughs> oh man. Actually I would be willing to bodyguard you with that one. Can you bodyguard me that far away? Yeah, dude. At least if you're within one tile of me, you would one tile over. And what does bodyguard do? The attack misses, and I swap positions with you. So you would be in melee with those other two things. Yep. Uh, but you would not. You would not have been punched in the face, though. Wouldn't you want to be around? Because the troll only needs one more hit. So wouldn't you want to be around the the two guys, three guys that we need to now take down? You know what? Uh, let me check something. I mean, I can still get back over there to to attack the oh, troll. I'll, t I'll okay. You there? know what? That works better. Yeah. Well, we'll do this. I'll take. I'll, I'll reduce the damage by one. So I'll only take two, but I'll <laughs> still get curb stomped all the way into next week. Mm -hmm. We've all been ping ponged by that troll, by the way. Yeah. Except for one person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna so, roll to get my poison up. Yeah, go for it. You need a ten plus. Ah. That does not do it. Stay poisoned. All right, so that comes to me. Have fun with it. And then I will pick up my t my guy here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I will actually before I do that. Oh no, I can't. Uh, wait, actually, one sec. Nope, only during my exploration phase. All right, so we'll move over here because he's a bigger threat. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, use my. Uh, careful attack and do one point of damage. That'll kill him. Alright, bolster. Play immediately. Choose one hero. That hero either regains one hit point or ends a condition on him or her. Um, so, I think we will end... What is it? Uh, immobilize you want to be there anyway so it doesn't really matter so I think poison is your biggest uh, thing here so I'm going to end poison on Arjun Ooh, thank you alright and so Adirin let's see you've already got that I have no other monsters but I do have to draw an encounter or you can't you use your thing to explore? No, I'm not on a tile. I'm not on a tile that has an unexplored edge. No. Yeah, I was gonna use it before I moved, but it happens during my exploration phase. Mark of Loth. Okay. All right. So, um, I get the curse, <laughs> and anytime anyone else gets it, so I take a point of damage. And then anytime anyone gets it, we all take a point of damage, everyone that has one. Uh, 
Fun times. All right. Uh, so that takes us to the end of round one. One or two. Uh, sorry. Yeah, that would be two. All right. Round three. Arjun, what you gonna do, buddy? You got some creepy crawlers and a drink to wash them down with. Uh, I think I'll try to take down the drink. He's a tall glass of water, isn't he? He is, indeed. Uh, I will precise strike it. For a nice hefty plus 11. Plus and 2 damage. Oh, nice. Actually... Actually, you know what? I think I will uh, Dragon's Breath. It's probably a good move. Yeah, that way I get to strike them both. Hopefully. Uh, does not count as attack action, so here, here we go. Do it. First attacks on the spiders. Uh, that's 11. Spider? Uh, will not hit. No. Need a twelve. No, oh, one away. Are you serious? Need a twelve on that one too. Oh no. <sighs> so, question. So, since that didn't count as an attack, can I actually make another attack? Yeah. Other than done with this, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and just precision strike that uh that water elemental. It's a twenty-one. How much damage? That will hit. Two. Hold up. Sweet. Give me my treasure. treasure. Ooh, play immediately. This card, one encounter card of your choice in play. I don't think we have any, do we? Yeah, I've got one. Uh, I've got an encounter. I think that's the only one. Oh, yeah. Get rid of it then. Nice. All right. Uh, and I believe that's it. I have to do an encounter here, I think, though, right? Yep. Uh, but your immobilization goes away. Oh, that is true. Spell web. Attack each hero on your hero's tile. Oh. Well, I'm about to be mobilized again, so well, well, here, move that well, oh, move that bad boy back over here. Hold, hold on oh. for a second. We've we might have enough XP to get rid of that. Enough. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, let's counter. We'll counterspell that. Fair enough. On the uh, bright and I believe side, that's it for me. On the bright side, Cat is now on the square with the creepy crawlies. You gave my present back to me. It's your turn, I believe. Move to there. I'm going to attack him with healing strike. Thirteen on the goblin. That hits. He just needed a twelve. He dies. I gain treasure. And who do you heal? Uh, I think uh, I'm gonna, I can only heal on my tile, so I'm gonna heal myself. Oh no, I can heal with him within one tile, but still. Yeah, I'll take it back. I'll heal Arjun. Ooh. Thank you, sir. I got a flask of oil. Ooh. What does that do for you? It's he gets to lather up. Increases his charisma. I can throw it. <laughs> and attack each monster on a tile. Alright. Uh, that is the end of my hero phase. So I will explore this tile. We got a volcanic vent. 
Nah. We get a monster and an encounter. Goblin cutter. Uh oh, all the goblin cutters are gonna get to go. Wait, I thought you killed him. Oh, that's right, I did kill him. Place a new monster on the start tile. Yay! Our duelist. Right there with... No, not with me! That's right, put him with Arjun. Ranger just has seen her life flash before her eyes. <laughs> then realized, oh wait, the, the Dragonborn's finally doing his job. I've been doing my job on me. Oh, I'm sorry, right. I, you're right, my bad. Uh, nobody on the tile is uh, poisoned, so the spider will attack. Yeah, uh, she is. Cat oh. is. Alright then. Um... What do they do? Uh, each poison hero takes one damage automatically. No roll. Okay. Goblin cutter. Moves to the closest adjacent hero. And attacks. Fifteen will not hit. That, uh, that poison is brutal. Yeah. All right, the draw duelist. Uh, it's going to attack twice. Plus nine to hit. Is he hitting? And he's going to hit you. Ah, tragic. That hits. Uh, yeah, that's gonna hit. One damage. But that won't hit. Oh. Alright, that will be the end of my turn. Ugh, I've gotten stabbed harder from making dinner. Well. There's a home life joke there somewhere, but I just, mm. I'm not, we'll just let that one go. Um, uh, okay, Kat? Yes. So I take one damage from the poison. Yep. And then, um, I'm going to do Dagobrush and attack, um, the duelist and the spiders. Every time Spiders. you say that, I hear you say Dagobah. Again, I have Cat's Eye Headband, so I get plus two bonus to the attack. Read it again. Oh, if they're not on my tile. I do not get to use that. Okay. But I do have Arjan, so I have plus one. That is true. So yeah, armor class. No, to your armor class, not to your to hit. 17 so it definitely uh hits them both and it's plus two damage it's a good thing you're a cute cat you um, only roll one you roll once for you roll for oh each turn. yeah i think i have to roll for each yeah attack each monster all right so okay. i'm just gonna hit the drow he only has one yeah they're gonna die either way they only have one each it misses on a miss it even hits for one yeah, it uh, hits the spider. Then it dies too. And then oh, I get a. Treasure. No, just a single. Just a oh, single just treasure, single. yeah. You can only ever draw one treasure each turn. Uh. Mask Ooh. of Disguise. 
Use when a monster not on your hero's tile activates. Your hero does not count as the closest hero to that target. Ooh. I think that's the item that uh, Arjan had. It is. And sold last turn. Last at the beginning of this game, actually. And I think you get to roll your poison off potentially. Yes, hopefully, yeah. please. You still get to move if you want. Nat 20. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think the exploration comes after the hero. So you? Yeah, so, uh, but it's, um, you can move right now, though. So you can move before your the end of your exploration. Or the beginning of your exploration. Okay, no, I meant to roll the poison. I thought I had to do it at the end of the hero. Because before I waited, like, way too long. Yeah, but the hero, um, the movement is in the hero phase. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move south. And I will explore south of me. Okay, so each hero takes damage equal to the number of monsters he or she controls. I control nothing. And I then... Nothing. Yeah, I control one. So one point of damage. And then a goblin cutter. Yep. It moves to the closest target and attacks with crude dagger. So doing this one is... Damage. Here's the thing, Kat. This is the second goblin cutter that's on the table. So you will actually control both of them at this moment. Oh. So yours first, which would move to you and attack. So it's a plus seven. Yes, so that hits. All right, so you take a point of damage. And then the other one will attack for Grim. Seven. That one. Oh, no, that is a seven. Wow. That oh. was weirdly. Seven? Yeah, uh, still 14. I don't think that hits you, right? No, no it doesn't hit. 16. All right. So, my turn. So, Tim did. <laughs> To separate the party more? Thought about it. I really, really thought about it. Hmm. Double move to be able to get over here. Yeah, and I, well, I can't attack anyway, so I might as well do that. I will double move to there during my exploration phase. I will activate my ability to spawn there. So the first thing that happens is the monster uh, card on that one, which is a goblin archer. All right. And then, hey, look, another Mark of Loath. And if you collect them all yourself, like, is every time you're drawn, you're just, you know, damaging yourself over and over and over? No, I think it, I think you're supposed to discard it, discard it if you draw it a second time, I think. You can also just, choose, take a damage at the end of the turn and discard it. Also, does yeah, it think, each hero with at least one curse, including yours? Yeah, yeah. So I would take one right then, and then during my hero phase, I could, uh, I could take a point 
to uh, get rid of it. All right, uh, and then next would be the second monster. And it's a Drow Duelist. Okay, so now let's see what harm they do to me. All right, so the Goblin's just going to shoot at me. So he is plus seven. He does two damage, but one, even if he misses... Eighteen is definitely going to hit, so I'll take two damage. And then the Drow Duelist is probably going to kill me. Um, so he's going to move adjacent to me and attack twice. So he gets a plus nine. Now might be a good time for that bodyguard. Oh, yeah. there's a there's a one. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I didn't give you a chance. Uh, and then a 16 does hit, so I'll take one point of damage. Uh, that's, yeah, that's fitting, but either way. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll bodyguard your face. All right. So... Just place with me. Was I here or was it up top? Up, up above him. So I will... As he Get suddenly and just randomly in a puff of smoke appears, are just gonna look at him in the face like, "Bitch, you thought." Is this is this where Alyssa like realizes that Arjun's finally doing his job and like bows in appreciation? This is Arjun <laughs> realizes that Alyssa's still not doing her job because she's just you know pain cushion <laughs> at this point. What are you talking about? I'm doing my my job is to explore. That's what I did. No, your job is to die. Hey, whoa, whoa, <laughs> that's borderline evil talk, there, buddy. She is well on her way to that, though. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> the end of the turn. You're all extra hit points for me. Is all you really are. <laughs> right, right, right. Remember that. <laughs> Except you, Thorgrim. You're cool. I don't know. Well, I'll give extra hit points to other people. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, end of... Oh, yeah, because uh, there's nothing else. So, yeah, end of that turn. Alright, here we are in round four. Arjun, take it away, buddy. What you gonna do to that duelist? Uh, I'm going to attempt to swing his head off or chop his head off with my very awesome Tide yeah, of Iron Strike. I just had a mental image of someone grabbing a drow by the head and swinging it around like a chicken. <laughs> I, I mean, that, that would make sense for a Dragonborn. That totally hits. Uh, I think he's only got one health, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. He would be a toaster cake. Drow. Who do we got? Ooh, intimidating strike. Move one monster, one tile in any direction. Oh, bring that bring that dude over to you so he can yeah. in fear. Get over here! <laughs> Alright, so homeboy is now with me. <laughs> I'm not trapped in here with him. He's trapped in here with me. Um, I think. Arjun, th did you find a new pet? I did. It's a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I think since I'm not doing anything else, I think I draw an encounter card now. I mean, is, I guess kind of looks like a Pokemon. What is what does he evolve into? Just blood and guts. Uh, he's a golem, so bugbear. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see this encounter. Quickling ambush, attack your hero. <sighs> Uh, uh, what do we want to avoid? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, probably good to avoid. We're kind of running low here, better. Woo. He's like, I'm running low here, and me I and didn't the say rogue. I'm I said me we're the... running low here. Oh, okay. I was about to say, so me and the rogue are like, <laughs> fucking barely breathing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look, you guys made choices. Sticking, not my fault sticking dirt in our wounds. Yeah, I'm just doing my usual once a game die and res. It's no big deal. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, the, the old, the old, the old uh, shaman uh, threat drop. Exactly. Oof. All right. All right. Uh, are you done? Oh, yeah. That was your encounter phase. Uh, do you have any enemies? I do not have any enemies. That makes it uh, Thorgrim's turn next, then, right? Yep. He has I'm him a to... goblin cutter next to him. Yeah, I'm going to try to murder that goblin cutter with healing strike. Uh, for 18, that should that should hit him and kill him. Yep. Yeah, that first, does. So get away. And that way, you don't have to activate hers. Yep. Uh, I'm going to heal her since she's still in melee, though. So... Cat, you will get one HP. Thank you. Uh, and then I will move. I think I'm gonna move to here. No, I'm gonna stay closer than that. I'm gonna move to there. And then I will explore that tile. Broken door. I don't know what that does. That does not. It's you. You fuck with the Kool Aid Man. We got one critter. Hunting Ooh, dragon. I haven't seen this one before. It's a giant dragon. Just because I think it's funny. It's your cousin. <clears throat> It's your daddy. We were never on good terms. Uh. The hunting drake. Uh, if the hunting drake is in one tile of a hero, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks with rending bite. It's going to move adjacent to me. Would it move on to my tile? No, it just it moves directly adjacent to you as close as path it can. Okay. Oh, that's gonna hit for two damage. Oof. No, one damage. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's the villain phase. So that's the end of my turn. Okay, cat. Okay. I will attack this little goblin dude. And I will attack with snipe shot. You get a plus two bonus since he's not on the same tile, I think. Yep. Yep, that is a bonus. Yeah, but I, I, I rolled a four. Well, you, it, snipe shot is a plus two to hit. And plus the cat's eye, so she actually gets a plus four. Uh, and then plus seven, so 11. Rolled a four, that's 15. Oh, it does hit because them. Because rogue bullshit. <laughs> I like rogue bullshit. This is perfect. Okay, so goblin dude is dead. God, it's like I'm playing with Yuki. I don't think I got my treasure for killing that guy. I don't think you did either. What'd you get? What'd you get? Yeah, you do your research. Blinding strike. After using an at-will power against a monster, against an adjacent monster, use an at- uh, 
use after using an at will, and then you get to use another at will power. Nice. And I got a really uh, wow. fitting trophy. That's called nuts. Spider Mask, uh, and the immobilized condition on your hero when your hero is immobilized. Unfortunately, you're already wearing a mask. Oh, I can. Oh, yeah, I can only wear one. Um, I. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, you, you've matter. got you've got the mask, and you only use it when you use it. So, um, it you can have both. Okay, and I will move down. I will move there and um, get a tile done. Oh, another volcanic vent. Oh, that was a little hectic. Stop doing that. It's my Jesus. Trying to look cool, guys. Why is the game screwing me like this? Alright, cat, you get an encounter and a monster. Uh do not, do not play play mo this monster is sweet. I will take it. And spellweb, attack each hero on your hero's tile. Hey, look at there! And you got immobilized! Uh, I would like to cancel that. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Well, I mean, all it does is give the immobilize... I mean, no one takes damage. She will be oh. immune. Yeah, it's right. it's the web spell. Sure, that's fine. Let's just take it. You want to roll to hit us? It rolled a nine for you. So fifteen oh, or six? No. Sorry, seventeen. That's gonna hit. <clears throat> Yep, and it hit me too, but I am going to use my spider mask. Alright. Very nice. And uh, that's the end of my turn. Alright. Alright, uh, my turn... I will go to there. During my exploration phase, I will explore this tile. Oh, lag spike. Oh, wait, why did I do that? So, uh, before my exploration phase, I want to actually attack, because I'm a better player than that. Uh, <laughs> I will <laughs> use Twin Shot. Attack two monsters within one tile of you. So, I will attack the Hunting Drake. So, at a plus four. So, 16. That hits. Does one yeah, damage. Okay. That will kill him, and I will draw a treasure card. Heavy Cloak. Use when your hero is targeted by an attack that targets more than one hero. The attack misses your hero. That's what Arian had. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing that he used to save his ass. 
when the yeah. roof caved or oh yeah that's right that makes sense yeah when the roof came in I think all right um all right acid spray attack each hero on your hero tile uh that... you homie yeah um well that would put me at one if it hits me you have enough plus, to... plus whatever this monster is gonna do yeah we have enough to get I would appreciate that we do not have enough for another one oh another goblin archer so that goes away oh yeah because it's on your you don't draw another one oh you do Another hunting drake. Oh, crap. So he's going to move to there and attack me. Seven plus eight. So that's 15. That's what he needed to hit me. So I'll take my one. And then the one that's attacking the priest. Oh, you killed it already. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Never mind. Just kidding. We never took the model off of it. Ah, oh, that's what it was. All right. Um, well, let's... Uh, that is it for my turn, I believe. Nope, nope, the goblin. Uh, he just cowers, I believe. Uh-huh. So... If the goblin archer is within two tiles... Uh, uh, if the goblin archer is adjacent to a hero, it cowers in fear and does nothing. So it just sits there and dies. As soon as you go. All right, uh, so that's pretty much it for uh, my turn. All right, top of the fifth. Let's see. It is Arjun. What you got, buddy? Kill, kill some quivering goblin. Actually, I think I'll delay that. What? I will trapping strike, and I will choose a drake in front of you and force him adjacent to me and attack. Nice. It. Now I will roll against it. So that's not a roll. Why is that not rolling, bro? There you go. That was a roll. Yeah, that hits. That kills him. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I think it's strategic for me to remain in this space. That way, the goblin can't do anything. Uh. Follow through. Deal one damage to the monster on your hero's tile. Oh, okay. He dies too. <laughs> oh, nice. nice. So now do you want to move? Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's a good move to move. But I can't draw another treasure card. You no. cannot. No. Like, you uh, can go to this tile, this right here, and spawn so you don't have to draw an encounter. Yeah, I think that might be good. Yeah, I'll explore. Dark dun, dun, chasm. Dun. Turn it. There you go. Uh -huh. I appreciate not. Yeah. Uh, it does spawn one monster, though, I believe. No, nope. uh, actually, it's got special rules. Yep, just a second. Oh, it does. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. when you reveal the dark chasm tile, read. The bridge over the gorge stands before you, but you're too late. The dragon is here. You must slay Shimmer Gloom to survive. I, th I thought that's what I, we were here to be. Anyway, uh, only then can Brunor Battlehammer rightfully claim his <sighs> inheritance as the eighth king of Mithril Hall. 
All right. So when we pull that, we want to put the rocky layer next to the closest unexplored edge to the dark chasm. So that would be this big dude here. And Arjun gets the dragon mm -hmm. for the for this turn. For the first turn. Okay. Uh Alright. And uh so let's see. The heroes win, the adventure win, we defeat Shimmer Gloom, and we get defeated if any of us go down to zero hit points at the start of his or her turn when we don't have a healing surge. So okay. pretty much uh standard at this point the shimmer gloom doesn't change hands it says. all of them do yeah unless it specifically says that oh there's an extra condition to this guy too um shimmer so, gloom can yeah so they don't they don't change hands they just uh he he will always be uh in at the start of each villain phase but he start, yeah he activates at the start of each villain phase yeah. he just doesn't pat get passed around like a pack of cigarettes in prison. I'll also say that Shimmer Gloom can be attacked only by heroes that aren't his tile, so no range on him. That's lame. That is anti uh ranger and rogue bullshit right there. That's that's wow. racist. Right that uh, prejudice. Prejudice. Uh-huh. We need to start a movement, cat. Ew. Or at least we have a lot of walking to do before getting to him. <laughs> we could, in theory, explore the tiles between, right? Uh, in theory, yeah. Right there. I hope that led us to it. Yeah. Might be faster than walking all the way around. It uh... indeed. And we wouldn't have to deal with that chasm. No. Chasm. Chasm. Uh, that thing. The dark place. Alright, that's the end of Arjun's turn. Yep, and the start of the villain phase, which Shimmer Gloom, because he is not within at least a tile of one hero, will use his turn to move one tile toward the closest hero, which would be me. Yep. And, uh, that, I believe, is it? Uh, I will move to here. Oh, wait, I'm immobilized. I can't move. Ah, you don't want any part of that dragon anyway. Alright, uh, cat, heal one point of damage since I can't do anything else. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself for uh, for four. Ooh, nice. Yeah, can't heal everyone else if the healer's dead. Um, and then uh, yeah, that's I can't move, so that's the gonna be the end of my turn. I'm gonna have to draw an encounter card. Volcanic, volcanic fault. Place a volcanic fault marker on your hero's tile. Uh, if it already has a tile, discard it. Uh, this trap counts as a volcanic vent. Trigger the trap during your villain phase. Each hero on the tile takes one fire damage. Ooh. And you can disable it somehow. Don't all volcanic Vince have triggers? Have a switch. Yeah. Oof, that's rough. At least it's like nowhere near where we need to go. Could have been worse. It could have been put on this one. It's true. 
Uh, so at the beginning of my villain phase, that will activate and do one damage to Cannonite. Oof. So, so much for that damage I just healed you. Uh, and then Shimmer Gloom will activate Arian. Um, boy moves one forward. Rawr. And that's the end of my turn. Okay, if I wanted to leap, um, I can move two tiles. Am I able to get to Arjen's, like, go, like, am I al allowed to go diagonal, or does it have to be in front? Well, you still have to, uh, wait, what, wait, what does it say? Great leap. Uh, use this power during your hero phase instead of moving. Place your hero on a tile within two tiles of you. Yeah, that's that's just uh, you move two tiles away from where you're at right now. So no, it does not count. Uh, di you cannot move diagonal. It, you have to move. But I mean, it is two tiles away. So yeah, it still gets me close. Uh, you would go on the mushroom patch. Okay, um, I can't attack him because uh, he doesn't take any range, so I will take an encounter card. Uh, choose the hero with a few hit points remaining. Place a new monster on that hero's tile. I am sorry, Alyssa. Man. I threw a tile. I threw a card out there. Oh, what is that? Uh, it's a goblin champion. What? Yeah. What? They have champions. What's wrong with that? Should I place him there? He would go closest to the mushroom patch that she's standing on. Yeah, I mean, that's diagonal from it. Yeah. Or would he go in the middle of between the two of you? It really doesn't matter, I don't think. Okay, so he is going to attack um, the hero. He's going to attack me um, with the vicious axe. Then he will move to the closest tile with no heroes. Uh, well, the... Is it your villain phase yet? I uh, yeah yeah it is because okay. I m moved already yet. All right then yeah then that's what he's going to do. And plus eight, uh, so he will hit and it will hit me for two. Ouch! Oof. And then he moves to the closest tile without heroes, so... He's got three options. Let's say he moves, like, ab above us. He's gonna chill up there. Alright. Now it's Dragon's turn again. Yep, man. If... He is within one tile of a hero. He moves to the closest hero's tile and attacks with flurry of claws because he is not in a tile with two heroes or more right now. So he'll default to that. He attacks me. Uh, he's got a plus eight to hit. Yeah, that definitely hit. Uh, so he deals one damage to me. And the and he gets to place the hero one tile away from Shimmer Gloom, so he knocks me off to the tile. That fucker has twelve hit points. Yeah, oh. and strategically speaking for him, he would knock me over to the what everybody else is. Yep, that's what he wants, so he can use his breath. And as I get knocked away, Arjun looks at the dragon in the eye and just look, says, "Your mother was chromatic." Oh my god! I mean, I think he knows that. Nah, he's a shadow dragon. Um, and I believe that's that's his faith. 
Oh boy. All right. So, well, um, hmm. You might want to run, buddy. Where is that goblin archer? Is he already dead? Been dead. Yeah. I mean, you can go ahead. And, you can go ahead and take that. So I can't actually. Wow. You can run away and get healing. Yeah, because he's gonna attack me either way. If he does two damage if he breathes on you successfully. I am going to, because it's not really gonna matter. I'm gonna use my attack here to attack the goblin. That's good. So six plus sli six is twelve. That does enough. not hit. No, he needs sixteen. Oh. But he'll take one point of damage for his troubles. And then I think I'll move to here and then uh, explore this table edge. See, look, it was a dead end the whole time. Already grabbed it for you. Uh, draw two monster cards instead. A goblin archer and a water elemental. <laughs> Oh, I'm toaster cake. All right, so the water elemental will go first. And he, if the water elemental is adjacent, no, if the water elemental is within one tile, he moves to the closest hero's tile and attacks each hero with the Surge of Wave. That will definitely hit for, I think two damage. No, Wave only does one, thank goodness. But now the Archer. <laughs> On the bright side, yeah, the, the archer's going to kill me no matter what, because he does one point of damage even if he misses. So I will go down to zero and fall over. All right, that's it for <laughs> my turn. Uh, nope, it's dragon. Oh, yeah, that is right, the dragon. We'll move to there. And what does he do? Breath weapon. Two or two or more oh. heroes. He wasn't on the tile with two or more heroes though, so. Yeah, so he would just uh move to the closest hero and attack that hero with flurry claws. So I'll take the hit. All right. So plus eight. Yep. So 18. That hits. All right. And then he would knock you back. Yep. Not sure which direction, but definitely would. Uh, uh, into the tile with shallows are, I would think. All 
All right. And then... Wow. All right. So I guess that's the end of my turn. End of the round. Yep. yep. End of the round. All right, Arjan. Do you have any way to bring stuff into that square with you? Uh, I do. I'm asking if you do. I do. Yeah, I can uh, pull somebody so uh, to me. A big, my, my daily AOE I can play on you think. Yeah, I can I can definitely pull the dragon on onto me. Alright, top of round six, let's do it, Arjun. Roll that beautiful bean foot roll twenty sided dot. Yeah, just go. Alright, I will trapping strike and pull the dragon adjacent to me. As adjacent as he can get, I guess. Oof. Uh, he would probably be in... Well, actually... Uh, I can move over a little, like that. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I mean, well... There's I, something I, that says I can't pull him. Well, the the thing is, is uh, it's based on where you're standing. So with, mm -hmm. you, with you standing right there, he would go on the other side of you. Uh, or would he just be straddling both, because it would still be adjacent? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that... Yeah, which is very bad for us, but yeah. Uh, that'll hit him. I don't really care. Well, I, yeah. I mean, I would imagine that. I mean, let me read the where's the trapping strike. Yeah. Choose one monster within one tile of you. Place that monster adjacent to you. Uh, yeah, I think you get to. Does choose. that mean I get to choose where? Well, yeah, I would. Yeah, I would imagine you get to choose, and I would put him here because if you eh. don't, then that means he's going to attack both of you with his breath weapon. Because yeah, both I'll of you would be considered in his square. I'll keep him right there. Uh, and he does take one point of damage. All right, down to. Only 11 more hits to go, boys. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll be it. And, uh, he... Oh, does that mean I have to encounter as well? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. now he needs to uh, attack you back. The juicer. Damn. Oh, oh but this damage is not only me, but them, too. Yep. This could actually be advantageous. Uh, place a juicer marker on your hero's tile. If the... Okay, blah, blah, blah. Each hero monster on a distrap tile takes one damage, then move the juicer marker one tile toward the hero with the mo most remaining hit points. <laughs> it's going to squeeze your juices. So, I take a point... The elemental takes a point, and the dragon takes a point. Yep. Uh, that is a happy exchange. I will take. You'll give up one point to do a point to all of them? Yeah. Actually, I, th I think I forgot to mark one point of damage. I'm actually down one more. Uh, how much HP does the elemental have, too? Yeah. Okay, well, he is now hurt. Uh, dragon here is down to 10 hit points. And now the juicer is going to move to the person with the most, next most highest hit points. Does that include me? Yeah. No. Yeah. It's who, it? oh. it, the highest, whoever's got the Your highest one. remaining. Yeah. Which it's I think is going to be. Yeah. 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 He's just collecting breaths. <laughs> and now the, the dragon moves. He will strike at me. And miss. Nice. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'll make a count. Uh, and I am done. So grim. Alright, when did traps happen? Enemy phase? Uh, each... Uh... Listen, let me read the trap. Yes, at the beginning... 
at the beginning of the enemy phase. Okay. Well, I'm going to move there. Actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to move to there. And then I'm going to use Beacon of Hope. Oh, the Bacon of Hope. The Bacon. Choose a tile within one tile of you. E attack each monster on that tile. Each hero on the chosen tile regains one hit point. I will happily take that thing. Alright, uh, this is only a plus six. So let's do the dragon first. Oh, that is not going to hit. That's only 12. Mm hmm. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think I have anything to help with that either. Against Gilano. Uh, 15. Think that hits? Oh, yeah. He only needed a 12. Oh, okay. Then no it's down. Dies. And you get treasure. Play immediately. Regain one of my flip cards. Nice. Oh, no, we're wrong. No, no, it says choose a hero either gains one hit point or ends one condition of him or her. Uh, I will choose you to gain. Oh, actually. I will choose Cat to gain one hit point. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Since I can't choose Shalazar. Uh, I think that's it. I don't have anything else I can pull. And cat should should cat take care of the uh, the goblin up top? Uh, possibly. I gotta pull an encounter card. Uh. Um, I would say just kite him into the dragon and just have her come do damage to the to the uh, yeah dragon. Probably a good idea. That's what I was planning on doing. Uh, each hero within one tile of a volcanic vent takes one damage. I don't think any of us are. Yeah, you're both within one tile. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah, no. Is it heroes or uh, or anything? Hero. Oh, just heroes. Damn it. Uh, you know what? I We have enough to avoid that. Avoid it. Stay avoid it, yeah. This is dealing, dealing with enough uh, damage from that dragon here in a second. Yeah, because we have we met his first condition. Yep. All right. Um. And then the juicer would move, I guess. Yep. It squeezes and then moves. Just to us, yeah. Is it the beginning of the hero villain phase that it does it, or when does it do it? At yeah, the beginning of the villain phase. Which I believe is now. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, the dragon. Yep, so he the dragon takes a point of damage, you and I take a point of damage. No, no, no. 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 It uh, moved. It... Yeah, the juicer the juicer squeezes first, then moves. It attacks first and then moves. So it didn't have anything to attack. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, okay, so we have met the first condition of dragon, so he will use his uh, breath attack. Plus 8 to hit, 2 damage, and even if it misses, we take 1 damage. Okay, go for it. Who are you attacking first? Myself. And I get hit. Then you... You take just 1 point of damage. Yeah. Getting mighty low here, guy. Give my regards to Broadway. All right, that is the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, Cat. Okay, I will move adjacent to the dragon. Uh, and that makes it. I'm going to use backstep, so I get one additional damage point to the monster if it is adjacent to another hero, which it definitely is. It's plus seven. Okay. To get a 16 or 15, sorry. So 
it looks like a one. It's a seven. No, is it? No, that's a one. Shoot. <laughs> okay, so it misses. That's unfortunate. Alright, uh, anything else? Other tricks? Uh, because I attacked, I can't roll to disable the trap, right? Correct. So I take an encounter roll. Card. Yep. Shock trap. Um, trigger the trap oh, during boy. your villain phase. If the tile already has a marker, discard that card. Discard that card. Okay. Discard this card and draw a new card and draw a new encounter. Oh, okay. So you discard that one and draw another one. Yep. Pursuits, place a new monster on the start tile. Ooh, our friend Spider Swarm. So I can go here or huh. here. Okay, so... I guess it starts uh, the villain phase. Yeah, so this is where everyone will take a point of damage from being squeezed by the juice. Ow. And then uh, are we starting with the dragon or the yeah. goblin or the, the, dragon, the dragon? Yeah, the dragon would go first. Okay, it does its breath. Um, I'm going to do Arjan first. This is where it gets bad. This is where we could lose the game. It's all on you. Uh, I think that's a miss. Yeah, still take one point of damage, huh? One point of damage. Which is preferable. Uh, Thurgrim next. That is an eight. Sixteen. Uh, that will miss because of Arjan's plus one. Yep. Nice. But I'll still take the one point. Then myself. Eight. Oh. That's going to hit me for two. Yep, that's going to knock you down, ain't it? Yep. And I am dead. Oh, wait. You could have used your mask of disguise. But it doesn't that still because I'm still on the tile use, even if I'm use closest? use when a monster oh not on your on your tile ah darn yeah ah darn the thing you, the the cloak she could have used do we have surges the heavy cloak she could have yeah used. we have two surges uh-huh if she had it all right. Uh, now comes the other, the other nastiness. All right. At the beginning of my turn. Hold on. She still got two monsters. Yeah. Oh yeah. Two monsters. Um. So if the goblin champion is within two tiles of the hero, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks the hero with a vicious axe. Oh, she's on. I. I will take it. Okay. Oh, and nine. We needed that uh, seven. So it's two this? damage. And then he runs away. Hey, and the spider swarm. Oh, he doesn't run away this time. He ran to me, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's just going to move, I think, uh, towards us. Yeah. Moves one square. Okay. All right. Now, I think that's My turn. It, right? 
So, um, I have to use one of the healing surges. So that goes away. We still have one left. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um. I don't think we're going to survive this round. I think so. Wow. Um. Do you guys, what if you guys run away? And I stay here and take the cleave? Or take well, the hit? It doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, he's going to, he's going to attack every turn. So he's going to attack during my turn right now. So oh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the uh, twin shot. So, uh, two monsters within one tile of me. So, the two that are in the tile with me are within one tile of me. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. So, I'll attack the big guy first. Oh, so close. Um... I don't think that's going to hit. That's only a 12. I need a 16. And then the... Oh, Jesus Christ. And then an 8. Yeah, nothing. All right. Um. So... Then I'm going to move. To there. And draw an encounter card. Hey, look, I'm going to take two points from little Mark. Well, I guess it's just one point. Oh, no. From the Mark of Lulf. All right, so I had four. Now I'm down to three. And then uh, the juicer is going to juice people. Yep. Let's take one. Mm -hmm. and I can't the the, the uh, goblin and the dragon both take one. How much does the goblin have? He's got two. Ooh, I totally went the wrong way. Actually, yeah, I'm going to change where I, the direction I went. I'm going to go to there instead. Okay. Uh, and then the uh, dragon goes. Uh, he kills both uh, Arjun and I automatically. Yep. And that's game. Yep. And that was easy. I mean, true to D&D &D form, like level one through what, five are like super lethal? Yeah. On the bright side, on the bright side, we do get away with all the equipment that we have. So we will get away with some pretty good uh, uh, artifacts or treasure cards. Um... I know this cloak that I have, I can sell right now and and uh, level up. So, I mean, there are things that we can do. Yeah, but, we do have to play this one again, unfortunately. That's alright. Uh, I can sell the flask of oil for 300. So there you have it, guys. Uh, I mean, that was, I mean, that that's sometimes how this game can go, uh, depending on the cards that we draw. I mean, they they could uh, be our boon or be our downfall. We got pretty lucky in some, with some of those, but man, some of those we just got bad draws. A lot of bad rolls, um, especially near the end. A lot of misses. Oh yeah, and I, I will say like so. 
personally, if if when we do play it again, I will probably save a lot of my bigger attacks for the ends instead of using them as early as I did. Well, unfortunately, we, some of those we didn't have a choice, right? I mean, pulling that yeah, drider exactly. in the troll right off the bat, man, it it kind of kind of throws a wrench right in the middle. Yeah, so. that troll. A lot of the damage that happened to specifically you happened with that troll. Yeah, yeah. So, and of course, I was nowhere near the healer the whole game. But I mean, that just had to do with being, you know, hockey pucked around, you know, the board. So, but <laughs> F and troll. So, yeah. Other than that, uh, I I like it. I think is. Uh, I mean, we can do the the. Uh, the town real quick i mean i've got two items i'm obviously going to keep the brooch uh but the heavy cloak i'm definitely going to sell so that i can level up i don't know what the rest of you guys want to do i'm keeping my bracers they i'll let they let me do two at will power the turn against an adjacent target yeah that's pretty gross actually uh, i might change powers and take the Take the other at will power that uh, gives people advantage. I mean, that that mask is is really good, but I don't know if I would care <laughs> enough to yeah. not sell it. The mask of disguise, um, because it's it's used when a monster not on your hero's tile activates. Yeah, I don't know if I would keep either one of those, to be honest. I think yeah, I would sell I both thinking. of them. I kind of want to get rid of both of them. And okay. either and either let Arjun borrow the the 900 gold to level or uh, try He's to borrow three. 100 off of Arjun. He's got I... 300 of Yeah, so let him borrow 600 of it so he could level up or uh, try to borrow a hundred off of him to level up. You can um, have my hundred. No, I'd like to level you up because you, you're you the tank. I thought you were leveled up. Didn't you level her up last time? Uh -uh. No, it was the very first uh, first time oh, we played. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give yeah, him it was that. The, it was the practice round. Wink, wink. Right. Wink, wink. Alright, so selling those two things, how much gold does that give us? 900 gold? Yes. We'd have fifteen hundred total. Yeah. Um. Personally, I vote to level up Arjan. Um. Simply because he takes a lot of our hits. Yeah, I agree. I'm fine with that. I appreciate it, guys. I will go to the local shop and uh, hand them one thousand gold to level me up. All so right. do I flip the card at this point? Yeah, you flip the card. You got one more AC. You should have Ooh. two more HP and one more surge. And then also you're going to get to choose an additional daily power. Oh, so I get another daily power. Yeah. Nice. So I get... Uh, was it everything that's still here? One additional daily power. And then I get the crit critical hit as well? Yep. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, so... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I've been kind of experimenting with different abilities and daily powers and crap just to see what functions best. 
I think the uh, the trapping strike is really good to pull adjacent uh, enemies to myself. Yeah. Um, Tide of Iron, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Well, I kinda, Tide of Iron, I can push him back, I think. I kind of overlooked careful attack uh, the first time we played, and that was wrong of me. <laughs> that was absolutely wrong of me. That is just a good ability. Yeah, not no guaranteed hit, no roll. Yeah, yeah when there's so many th annoying things that only have one hit point left. Absolutely. Actually, I think Brute Strike would be good to take in this case. If I need to, like, power hit something. Just gotta hope for a good roll. Man, that was fun. Yeah, it, it sucks that we lost, but, uh, I mean, we'll be going in with two level two characters. Um, as well, so that might... And we've got some pretty good magic items now. I mean, really yeah, good me magic items. I mean, that plus two to hit uh, monsters from off the edge of the board or from a different uh, tile and then being able to use two at will powers uh, I mean those are really strong ability <laughs> really strong uh, treasures uh, absolutely for sure so I'd be surprised if we have a hard time with it next time well that's it for this video if you like what you've seen and you want to see more just hit the like button and join the hive by hitting the subscribe button and we'll see you on the video soon.